Now that we know how to create a project, it's time to add the medias to the timeline. We have added one here. Like this, you can add multiple videos to the timeline and create your movie. Now what I'm going to teach you in this video, how you can easily add your interested medias, movies, pictures to the timeline. How easily you can do that. Simple way. Number one, simply click on any media then you will see two handles within the yellow border. This can be adjusted. But if you wanted to select the media completely, click on X on your keyboard. So you see the difference, right? It is selected completely. So click on any project and do this activity. Click on X, it will be selected fully. Then what you can do? You can just drag and drop it here. This is method number one. I'm going to command Z on this to undo. Now next method is you can select a portion or a range from a clip. Say for example, if I don't want this complete video or if I just only need the half of the video, I can do that. What I need to do is I need to push this handler towards the position where I want and then release it. Then drag it to here. So that's a good method, right? You can select the half of the video or any portion in the video. This is method number two. And the same technique can be applied with a keyboard shortcut, which I'm going to show here. I clicked on it here. Now it is selected fully. But if I skim, I can skim through the video and find out what position I need to start. Say for example, after skimming here, I decided to start from here. Then what I need to do? Press on I on your keyboard. So see the difference now, the handle will come to the position where my mouse pointer is. I'm going to press on I. Now you see the difference. Okay, now I start from here and I understood that I only need the range to end here. I need to press on O on your keyboard. Okay, you see the difference? Now only this portion is selected. Now I can drag and drop this small range towards here. Easy, right? Number four, another method. What if you need to select multiple files and drop it to your timeline? Yes, you can do that. Click on the media. Use command key on your keyboard and click on the medias that you want. So now I have selected these two. So I have selected multiple videos. And I can do again here and press command and then select this. So I have selected three pieces in the video. Now I can drag and drop it here. All the three pieces will come here. Interesting, right? And instead of selecting the complete video, what if I need to select the multiple ranges? You need to press on Command Shift I. Okay, now I skimmed through this video and I understood that I only need to start from here. So I'm going to press on Command Shift I. So my initial point is set. And after skim over here, I decided to stop it here. I'm going to press Command Shift O. So this is selected. Again, in this video, I need to start a portion from here. Okay. I'm going to press on Command Shift I. And I decided to end it here. I'm going to press on Command Shift O. So you see multiple ranges from the same clip or different clip can be chosen by Command Shift I and O. Now I can drag and drop it over here. Yes, that's all. So you see the differences now. So there are basically different methods to select and add your clips to the timeline. And one more question you may have now, what if I need to remove a selection? Now you see that there are two selections here. What if I need to deselect one of the selection? Use command and just hit. So that will be removed. So now only one is selected. Or you can go to the menu here, click on this mark menu, and then you have clear selection. If you do this, this selection also will go off. And the shortcut key for that is option X. So I'm gonna click on this, now it's selected. If I do option X, it will be removed. You can use option I and O to remove the selection from multiple ranges too. 
okay so these are some interesting methods to select a particular range entire clip multiple ranges multiple clips can be selected from your browser and you can add it into your timeline and one last thing in this video there is one more tool to accomplish this task that's tools menu located here and you can use this range selection tool to add your clips to your timeline this is a range selection tool you can press r to enable the range selection tool so i have selected so you can see the tool uh, symbol has got changed now the interesting method of adding or selecting is i can just use my mouse and drag it to any position that i want so this is selected and then i just need to hold it and then i can add it so you will see a orange line over here because it shows that it is selected okay and it is added to the timeline and can i add multiple ranges from same video or different video of course you can you need to press on the command key and then just again select different ranges here so you see that there are three ranges that i have selected i again can add it all the three okay i can expand it a little bit i'll show you how the expansion works all and this is how you simply add with the help of the range selection tool and range selection tool is not just only made for this purpose range selection has got variety of uses as you move on your editing you will understand that there are different uses with these tools so this is one such way to select a range from a clip with the help of this range selection tool so to go back to your normal mouse cursor this is what we have used and this is select a tool and the keyboard shortcut is a you can either press on a or you can select it manually from here to go back to your normal cursor so that's all in this video now and in the next video we are going to continue this session i will show you how you can add your clips or interested uh, medias from external sources such as your photos or from your finder how you can add it we'll see that in the next video okay thank you so much